days. I feel like I'm always here. I was literally just here. Like, I kid you not, just here. But I'm actually rushing out the door because I just got here. I was stuck in traffic for a while, and now I'm going to Hampton Social to meet with some friends. I'm actually here because my friend Abby is moving to Hawaii, which sad for me, not for her. She's like moving there with the love of her life. Like, they're just gonna live their best life. He already lives there. Um, anyway. So we're going to say goodbye to them um, and just like do a little going away party, but I'm also meeting up with some other friends while I'm here. So let me show you the room staying in, staying in Hotel Monocle as always, which is where I always the stay. The room, if you guys saw the last vlog, well if you didn't, I'll link it below, but if you saw the last vlog, I actually had a bigger room because I had some friends staying with me, but I didn't need a big room this time. Um, pretty much looks the exact same. Has these amazing little bottles, which I love. They have like conditioner and shampoo and body wash and everything and you are right on Michigan Ave which is like so nice I feel like I love just like kind of being in the middle of everything or close to everything like I'm literally about to walk to Hampton Social now it's just a 10 minute walk from here um, it just makes getting around really really easy like I can walk to the bean from here like it's literally so nice um, so yeah I'm getting ready to go See my tripod was over there. Um, I'm getting my stuff and heading over there to like meet the girl. shirt is not a walking one because I keep, I want to have something in my teeth still, I think, from the um, Snickers I had earlier, but for one, I keep having to pull it up while I'm walking, but I can't tell if it's actually falling down. But I will literally look down and be like, oh, your shirt is like almost on the ground. Um, so hopefully I make it there in one piece. Cool. I just want to show you guys my outfit. 
all of our outfits. We're gonna go out ah! and get some drinks and go to a club and hopefully like make it home at the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yummy. Yeah. We have the best espresso martinis, all of us. Like they actually don't even really make them here, I don't think. And cheers. 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 And these are the best I've ever tasted. They're really thick. And because they don't make them, I think they just put like honestly coffee and alcohol together. Mm. Very thick in comparison to a martini. It literally tastes like straight coffee and alcohol together. It's just the best blend. So we are gonna finish these and take a round of a shot and rally and go <laughs> out to <laughs> What time is it now? It's 9.51. So, 9.51. That is the time. The Ooh, is Brady so texted me. I know. I know. We went out at like 4. <laughs> yeah. um, Brady texted me. I'm gonna have to FaceTime him. Yeah, we literally got out at like 4 or something and now... It was before 4, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yeah. actually before 4. Ooh, she's very yeah. cute. Thank you. I, I had so many of those in my 20s. Oh. Ooh. Thank you. The wild, the night got wild. I know. It's pretty much like a lemon drop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually yeah. like love that. That looks so good. It's like, goes, uh, um, it's like a little sour, sweet and sour. Yum. Oh, Thank you. Oh, my fancy martini. <laughs> okay. What um are we cheersing to? Shaughnessy, we're we're cheering yeah. to Shaughnessy. She's a fucking <laughs> she's an angel. Friends. She's an angel and she's yes. amazing and genuine and uh, everything a friend should be. So cheers we're cheering to her. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, okay. Ooh, that was good. I don't even need to taste it. <laughs> Y'all are hurting. <laughs> that was a shot and a half. That was a drink. That was a whole drink. <laughs> I know you normally you like sip on that. You're gonna be warm. I was really proud of you for that. Yeah, yeah. and even like, like I'm a whiskey person, you like <laughs> went in on that. Oh, I'm gonna regret that. Mine was really good. I'm still making the like face lemonade. like the whiskey. I know. Eh. Okay, we'll see you guys after. <laughs> Last night was so fun. I'm absolutely exhausted. I feel like I am not really like hung over or anything. I'm just so tired, like incredibly tired. Um, last night was really fun. I got to see my friend Abby. We were out until, I don't know, it was like three in the morning. Like I do not stay out that late. And um, my actually, my other friend from uh, home, She's actually coming up to um, Chicago today and she was like, oh, you should like stay another night and literally I was like, I can't like <laughs> I cannot I will be just dead. So I'm going home today. Um, I'm getting ready to go to brunch with my friend Danielle. Um, last night was fun, but I forget how people are like in clubs like when they get like drunk like I usually don't go to clubs. I go to bars and stuff a lot. Um, so I don't really like see like, you know, that club side of people just like being crazy. There was this girl, we got um, like bottle service and like a table and stuff. And there was this girl who was at the bottom of the stairs of where our um, bottle service was. And I walked down the stairs and like, I when I'm drunk, I'm not like 
Like I'm like pretty chill, happy, like I'm very aware of my surroundings. Like I just like, you know, I am almost 30 years old. I feel like I can handle my alcohol like very well. Um, and I walked down the stairs and like I didn't bump into her, but I kind of like brushed her shoulder a bit because it was like really tight and she I ended up stopping at the bottom of the stairs and I was talking to someone and I wasn't like touching her or anything and she was like um what'd you say she's like oh watch where you're walking and like I know a bully when I see one like I think she was just trying to like intimidate me to be like oh my god I'm so sorry da -da. and I feel like in the past I would have been like oh my god like my bad da -da -da. but I like am fully aware that I did not like like push her or anything i just like kind of brushed against her which it's like you're in a club it's a tight space it's just gonna happen and um i <laughs> turned around and i was like watch where you're standing and so she kind of like looks at her friends and like gives them her drink like she's gonna like i don't know what she was gonna do and then she turns back around and she was like what did you say and I was like, I said, watch where you're standing. Didn't raise my voice or anything. I was like, I said, watch where you're standing. You're standing at the bottom of the stairs, which is where people walk. Like, if you don't want to pee, like, brushed up against, then you probably should stand at the bottom of the stairs. Um, and then she just, like, looked at me and, like, looked away and, like, kind of turned her back. And I just, <laughs> I feel like I was really, like, I don't know. I don't want to say proud of myself, but I think I was more, like, it made me more aware of like how bullies bully people that they think they can bully. And I feel like because I'm like such a really like happy, vibrant person, like I'm always like, in a good mood and smiling, like having fun. I feel like sometimes people think that they can like, you know, get over on me a little bit. So um, she just like literally just turned her back and was like, whatever. Um, so I don't know if you guys have any bullies in your life that you feel like are just like, you know, always talking down to you or always like, you know kind of trying to make you feel little or feel small just stand up for yourself like in a nice way obviously you don't have to like curse at them or scream at them or anything but um you know just stand up for yourself because you do deserve respect um i can't decide if i want to wear this jacket or not um, i'm gonna go look in the mirror but this is from american eagle i just don't know if it's gonna be cool enough here let me check the weather because if it's like not cool I just wear yeah 72 I feel like I'll be fine without it um 72 degrees which is like pretty hot for Chicago so I might just like wear this instead but anyway I'm heading to brunch my voice is scratchy I feel like for like dancing and having fun which is like the best um we're gonna go to Soho Chicago I'll show you what it's like when we get there um and it should be really really fun <laughs>